let's uh, let's solve some linear equation using a method called cover up okay so let me write a simple equation say m divided by 2 plus 2 is equal to say 10 so here we are asking the we need to ask the question imagine you cover this up and you're making that you're asking the question this something this whole thing something plus 2 is 10 you cover this up and ask the question what plus 2 is 10 well that is oops I keep writing the answer so what plus 2 is 10 well that has to be 8 you, you should know 8 plus 2 is 10 so now I can use that logic to say well m over 2 is equal to 8 now I'm asking the question what divided by 2 gives me 8 what divided by 2 is 8 so you're doing the opposite okay so yeah if you think about it uh, if you look at 8 is 10 take away 2 is 8 and to get what divided by 2 is 8 you do the opposite so 8 times 2 is 16 so this number has to be 16 so well your number M has to be 16 okay some of you can directly figure the answer out you know 16 divided by 2 is 8 and 8 plus 2 is 10 but I would like you to do the process because process is equally important okay so what would you do if it is say a over 5 plus uh, plus 7 is equal to uh, 10 okay so well I know this has to be 3 so I can directly say a over 5 has to be 3 because 3 because I know 3 plus 7 is 10 now I'm asking what which number so you can frame a question like this what divided by 5 is equal to 3 so basically to get this you have to multiply these two you do the opposite which is 15 so 15 divided by 5 is 3 so a has to be 15 and you can always check the answer 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 3 plus 7 is 10 okay now what would happen if you have an equation like this say x plus 2 divided by 3 is equal to say 5 so now we are asking the question this something this whole thing so you can reframe the question you can do the thinking like this what divided by 3 is equal to 5 so that this has so you can say you can do the opposite thing. so this has to be 5 times 3 because 15 divided by 3 is 5 so well I can say x plus 2 has to be 15 so this is 15 15 divided by 3 is 5 so x plus 2 is equal to 15 well now you can say what plus 2 is 15 so x is 30 so that's fine okay what would you do if you have a question like this say a divided by 2 sorry a minus 2 divided by 4 is equal to 1 so here we are asking what divided by 4 what divided by 4 gives you 1 well I know 4 divided by 4 is 1 so this whatever has to be 1 so a take away 2 has to be 1 now I'm asking the question what take away 3 what take away 2 is 1 well I know 3 take away 2 is 1 so a has to be 3 now what would you do when you have unknown on both the sides okay so let's say you have got 6a is equal to 
3a plus uh, say 12 okay so 6 times a 6 times a number is equal to 3 times a number plus 12 so when you have unknowns on both sides uh, treat uh, an equ this equation as balance or two sides of a balance so I'm looking at this and I'm 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 going to write this can I write this as 3 lots of A plus 3 lots of A which is equal to 3 lots of A plus 12 okay so what we're saying is this 6A can be written as 3A plus 3A and this 3A is 3A so you got 3 lots of A on one side and you got 3 lots of A on the other side so they are balancing each other so if you take this if you cross that out you can also cross this out so what is the remaining so you got 3 lots of A is equal to 12 so here this means 3 times a number is 12 so 3 times 4 is 12 so A has to be 4 okay does it make sense so let's make sense of this answer so what are we saying 6 times 4 6 times a, a is 4 should be that is same as 3 times 4 plus 12 the number a, a this is a so what are we saying this is 24 is equal to 12 plus 12 and we know 24 is equal to 24 so this equation is the answer is right okay what would happen if you have an equation like this say so two times say y plus 2 is equal to say 16 so here the meaning of this is 2 times something this is your something 2 times something is 16 so well I know 2 times 8 is 16 so this y plus 2 has to be 8. Now I'm asking the question what plus 2 is 8? So well I know 6 plus 2 is 8 so y has to be 6. So let's understand the equation backwards by putting the answer back in this. So what are we saying? 2 times 6 plus 2 is 2 times 8 is equal to 16 and that's all okay let us finish off with a slightly difficult question so what would happen you have say 3m plus 4 is equal to y plus 5 okay so as I told you when you have sorry not y m plus 5 is equal to m plus 5 so you got m on this side you got m on this side you got a number on this side you got a number on this side so we're trying to balance so what we're saying is 3 times a number plus 4 is that same number plus 5 so I'm going to write this so 3 lots of m is same as m plus 2m plus 4 is equal to this m I'm going to write as m and this 5 I'm going to write as 4 plus 1 I'll change this to 4 plus 1 which is 5 and this I've changed into m plus 2m so now well I can see 2m m sitting here and an m sitting here so they are on both sides so you can cancel this out I'm seeing a 4 year and I'm also seeing a 4 year so if you take 4 from this side you can take 4 from this side so what is that is left out what can you see so you got 2 lots of m is equal to 1 so now you're asking the question 2 times what can give you 1 well 2 times half 2 times half can give you 1 
So this m has to be half. Okay, so let's understand the question. So what are we saying? We are saying 3 times half plus 4 is same as half plus 5. Okay, so 3 times half is 3 and a half, which is 1.5, plus 4 is equal to 0 0.5 plus 5. So, well, 1.5 plus 4 is 5.5, and 0.5 plus 5 is also 5.5. So, this is where the process is important when you look at an equation and trying to bring the numbers, or sorry, letters on one side and the numbers on the other side. That can be done in some of the questions by making the m's on both sides equal and some of the numbers equal. 